There. there we go. As badly as I was wanting that to happen on like the first cast or something, it didn't happen, but we got one anyway. Watermelon chartreuse tail little tiny bass mitchell 304 who knows when the last time the mitchell 304 actually caught a fish who knows i'm asking you does anybody know i don't know goodbye little fella so basically what i did was rode right up here got right off the bike and started casting just trying to see it is a warm day it's a nice day and I was just hoping these fish had come to life because I really have been fearing that the otters are messing up our world in here. If there is one in here, there should be some more. Oh, we got another one. We've got another one on. Heck yeah, they're in the little cove today. Oh, this is a good fighter here. Good little fighter here. Come on up here. This is a good fish. He's not giving me any slack. Come here, you. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Come on up here. Yeah, that's a good one. Come on up here, long and tall. Look at that. That's a nice one there. I barely had him hooked. Woo, that was barely in his mouth. Yeah, not bad at all. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. I really like this reel. It's very cool. It's very unique. And it works really well. Very smooth. Oh, we got one. We got one. Whoa. What have we got here? A fighter? Yes, sir. Come here. This guy was a fighter. He had a whole lot more oomph behind his pole there than the other two did. Thank you, little fella. Let's see who's texting me. That's my buddy Dan. He's texting me about reels I can't afford. <laughs> I love Dan. He gets excited about this stuff just like I do. And it is so hard to find people to get that excited about these old reels. Using these Mitchells, I remember why I used to use them so much. They cast really far with a light line. And they are, for the price that you pay for these things, very smooth and they function well. 
This one has a little bit of gear growl, uh, gear chatter, whichever you want to call it, simply because of it sat in one position for many, many years. And the gear kind of corroded slightly. And I took a wire brush and buffed it out and some sandpaper as best I could, which took a lot of it down. But you can still feel it in that same little spot. I might even call Dan while we're fishing and get to talk to Dan on the phone while we're maybe catching a fish or two or five or seven. Hey, sorry. Mm -hmm. Call Dan Selvig on speaker. Calling Dan Selvig on speaker. I caught a fish while talking to Dan. No, I lost him. Hello, Willie. Hello there, Dan. How are you? Good. Uh, snowing like the Dickens here. Oh my gosh, it's almost 70 degrees here and I'm catching bass. <laughs> Man. I got you right on the phone with me, and we are catching fish on video while we speak. I've got the uh, Mitchell 304 that I'm using, mm -hmm. and it's doing great. Um, I remember now why I love these little things so much, because they just they just function. They just do their thing. You know, it's, uh -huh. it's there's no now you do have occasionally you know that one where you go to cast and the bale would flip, yeah, and then the uh, lure would come flying back at you at Mach seven. <laughs> and, you hate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your reflexes have to be up for that. And, uh, <laughs> Don't but, want a hook embedded in your phone. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I kind of saw what you were sending me something on a, a 110 uh, dash A or something. That, uh huh. And uh, what is that on eBay? I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I just bought it. Uh, oh, you right, bought it? Well, okay. Yeah, I just bought it about a oh, half hour ago. Oh, you're killing and, me with uh, all this stuff, Dan. It was ten dollars, <laughs> and uh, it was a. Uh, you know, that, that's the transition reel between the 110 and the 110. Well, the 110, uh, then came the 110 dash A, and then came the 110 A. Yeah. So that's kind of the interim reel, and I go, wow. Dang it, I didn't, I didn't know there, I didn't know there was a, a dash A or dash on yeah, this one. So yeah. now it's even... They did the same thing for the century also. And then I thought that, uh, I thought I was up to date on them, and now look what you've done. <laughs> Oh no, dash your hopes. <laughs> no, you, you've gone and thrown a dash into the mix. Oh, 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 we got one, Dan. Dan, we got one. Okay. Fish on, Dan. <laughs> this is going to be in the video, Dan. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got fish on. Another little bass. I can see him coming to the top there. Come here, you. And I'm using grubs. These things are hitting grubs. They're not messing with anything on the bottom. There we go. Got a little. Come here, you. He's a little feller, but he's he got caught nevertheless. And we're going to take speakerphone so you can. So yes, you can you're on speakerphone. Oh, wow. You're on speakerphone. <laughs> you're going to be on the video, talk, me talking to Dan while he's watching it snow. Okay, we're over here in the land of the drowning duck. All right, going to go with a June bug in a chartreuse tail by uh, Charlie Brewer here. Maybe that chartreuse tail was what was causing such a stir. Must be. Ah, oh, we still got him. We still got him. Yep. Oh, and he got off. Mm. Wow, that was a good hit. Not a big fish, but he sure felt like he was doing something when he hit it. Tiny little fellers, tiny little fellers. Yeah. Don't think we're gonna go picture-wise with you, but hey, thank you. Thank you for playing along. Let's see if there's anything else. Yep, there was. Don't feel any bigger, but there was another one over there. <laughs> I 
Yes, sir. They're hiding over there. Come here, spin around here. Spin, I see. Not big, but they're over there. Okay, there's three, three over there. Three. <laughs> These things are cute. They're just doggone cute, what they are. Get on back in there. I got it. Who is this? Let's see. Show me bass number four. You ask and you shall receive. Bass number four. Oh. Okay. Got a little cocky. That happens. It happens. You get a little cocky. Next thing you know, you didn't set the hook good. You lose the fish. Tournament's over. $55,000 lost because you got too cocky. Oh, that guy had it in his mouth before I even set the hook. Another little fella. That's all it appears to be over there. All right, we're going to try for a few more just to see what else is down in there. And... Then hop on the little monkey and head on back to the house. There we go. There's another one. That just means that the Zotters ain't tearing up everything in this place. There we go. I'm gonna have to come up with a challenge of some kind. Catching 304 fish with the Mitchell 304. It's a decent looking fish. Yep. There we go. Thank you, sir. The Garcia Mitchell 304. It has been a good day with this reel. The fish were really on today. Even though they weren't huge, we were catching them, and that's what matters. Now, I don't know how many I caught. I lost count. But this little reel has worked quite well. I have noticed, though, it's getting louder. Um, the gear chatter is kind of bugging me just a little bit. Might have to take it apart again and see if there's somewhere I can fit in a washer or a bushing or something to get the gears to mesh a little bit better. And uh, get this reel back out there fishing some more. Now, I came up with an idea. You tell me if you think it's something you want to do. I want to do, or you want me to do. How about the Garcia Mitchell 304 Challenge? 304 fish caught this summer with the Garcia Mitchell 304. That sound like something? If it's something you'd like to see, comment down there. Let me know. Let me know what you think. But I had a really good time with this thing today. It needs a little work take it back apart again and get back in it and figure out what its little issues are and then we'll take this thing back out and catch 304 more fish actually we got to add up what we caught today so in this video you probably noticed because i'm going to have evan number each fish as we catch it and we'll start keeping track of everything caught with the garcia mitchell 304 that was awesome anyway let's go get suited up and hit that monkey in the wind and go get some dinner because I am hungry. I'm not kidding. All right, let's get on out of here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.